23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. The Bakersfield Kern Regional Homeless Collaborative released its 2020 point in time count report identifying 1,580 homeless persons living in the county. That shows a 19% increase from the 1,330 homeless people identified during last year's count. Countywide, 36.5% of homeless persons had shelter, while 63.5% were unsheltered, sleeping in parks, empty buildings, cars, and other places not meant for human habitation. There is some good news, though. This year's count showed a decrease in the number of veterans experiencing homelessness. We have more information about the report on our website, turn to 23com the Kern County Public Health Department is reporting the sixth death in Kern County due to coronavirus. However, there is some good news as more people have recovered from the virus today. The recoveries have jumped to 484, which is 35 more than yesterday. Officials also said today that more than 6,300 tests have come back negative. According to Public Health, there are now 875 cases with 866 residents and nine non-residents who have tested positive. The NCAA is moving forward with a plan to allow college athletes to earn money for endorsements and a host of other activities involving personal appearances and social media. The NCAA Board of Governors gave its support to a plan that permits athletes to cash in on their names, images and likeness without involvement from the association, schools or conferences. Proposed rule changes still must be voted on by NCAA membership at the convention in January. The NCAA said it will still seek help from Congress to keep individual states from passing their own laws on compensation for college athletes. And temperatures are warm for today, but we will be cooling off. But conditions will remain dry for the next several days. Rain is not in the forecast, but when that cold front pushes through the region tomorrow, bringing the cooler temperatures, it will also bring some windy conditions to our mountain and desert areas. The National Weather Service has issued a wind advisory for those areas, and that advisory will begin tomorrow at 11 a.m. and expire on Saturday. But taking a look at our Futurecast wind model, we're seeing some windy to blustery conditions in July. Jawbone Canyon, Mojave, and California City, and that is something we will continue to monitor. Here's a look at our lows and highs for tomorrow and tonight. We have a low of 67 for tonight in Bakersfield, a low of 56 in Tehachapi, a low of 58 down at the Grapevine, and a low of 64 in California City. Tomorrow temperatures will be much cooler than what we're experiencing today. Not many 90s out there. We're looking at 87 in Bakersfield and McFarland, 82 in Mojave, 71 in Lebec, and 59 in Pine Mountain Club. So these cooler temperatures will We'll stick around for the weekend. We're looking at temperatures in back to the 80s to those seasonal averages. For Friday, we'll have a high of 83 and Saturday will remain the same. And then by the weekend, we will drop even lower in the low 80s. We will warm up, however, by mid next week. So the cool temperatures are here for just a little bit, but not too long. And for tomorrow in Kern River Valley, you have a high of 80. To Hatchaby, you have a high of 71. And Fraser Park, you have a high of 70. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23.com.